planning a funeral for a Cincinnati firefighter who died in the line of duty. Thousands are expected to pay tribute to firefighter Daryl Gordon. He died after falling down an elevator shaft during a fire rescue effort in Madisonville last Thursday. WLWT News 5's John London joining us now with what we can expect to see over the next couple of days. John? Yeah, uh, more than 3,000 firefighters and their families from all over the country, Mike, and some will be at the Duke Energy Convention Center around this time tomorrow for a private visitation. Many more will be here at the cathedral behind me the next morning for Daryl Gordon's funeral service. Firefighters are using union headquarters to decompress before tomorrow's visitation and Wednesday's funeral ceremony. The planning's extensive. Fire department leaders met with local media this morning to review logistics. A friend of Daryl Gordon's family contacted the archdiocese to secure spacious St. Peter and Chains Cathedral. A deacon will preside over a non-denominational service. Because of Holy Week services, setup was squeezed into a four-hour time frame this afternoon. The planning involves 50 to 100 people going non-stop. Rides for the family uh, to get them here, uh, the staging of all the equipment, uh, the processionals, uh, what will go on in the church. They're preparing in Covington as well. The last line of duty death here was seven decades ago. Jimmy Adams figures he's been to more than two dozen firefighter funerals in his 25 year career. Covington will cover for Engine 14 all day Wednesday, so Daryl Gordon's company can be at the service and at graveside. We have guys on a job that knew. We have guys on a job that didn't, but you know, pretty much everybody is united and wanting to do the right thing and, and remembering him and doing what we can to help Cincinnati get through this tough time. Between now and Wednesday, Chief Braun has arguably the longest checklist in the city at the moment for a ceremony rich in tradition. The pressure is all internal. We want to make sure that we do right by Daryl. And today, just as last Friday inside Gordon's engine company, the mood remains somber and reflective. Gordon's on-duty death is the first here in 12 years. Firefighters always know that they work in this situation, and so that you put it to your back of your mind. You know, it's back here, I don't think about it. But when something like this happens, it comes to the forefront. And this area behind me will be a sea of firefighter faces come Wednesday morning. Gordon's family, his wife, and two daughters described to us as a private family mostly, so the planning has taken that into account, finding that balance between the public tribute to Daryl Gordon and honoring their wishes as well. Reporting live downtown, John London, WLWT News 5. And John, 5th Street in front of Engine 14, Gordon's company will be closed Wednesday morning for the funeral procession, which will go past the firefighters' memorial and north on Plum to the cathedral. Plus,